In this lesson, we're going to talk about burn injuries. I want to give you the most important things that you need to know to be successful in nursing school, on the NCLEX, and when you start working as a new nurse. So I'm sure you're already generally familiar with what a burn is. It's damaged skin due to some source of heat or chemical activity. Now there's actually four types of burns. Click the link below or visit nursing.com slash NFN for a free NCLEX ebook covering the 77 key topics. One is a thermal burn, which is the most common. This is caused by fire or touching something hot. This is the kind of burn that you think of. And a radiation burn is caused obviously by radiation. Um, think of UV radiation as a common one. So even a sunburn is actually technically considered a radiation burn. Um, we can also get chemical burns from any kind of caustic chemicals. Anything that's too acidic or even too alkaline can cause a burn. And then you can also get an electrical burn from an electrical shock. And these are, these are pretty devastating burns because they kind of travel throughout the body. Now, the biggest problem with any kind of burn is that we're losing the benefits of the skin. What are our benefits of the skin? Well, the top benefit is that it helps to protect and prevent infection. It's literally our barrier between our body and the outside. The other thing it does is it helps us regulate temperature. And then it also helps us to regulate our fluid volume. I mean, it literally physically holds the fluids into us. So patients are at risk for infection, they're at risk for hypothermia, they're at risk for hypovolemia, okay? Now the big reason they're at risk for hypovolemia is this capillary leak. It's exactly what it sounds like. The capillaries start leaking fluid. So that fluid can leak out of the vessels into third spaces like the abdomen or the extremities, or it could actually leak out of the wound itself and then it's just gone all together. So again, hypovolemia is a big risk for these patients. Now you're probably relatively familiar with the degrees of burns as well, but let's review them really quickly. A first degree burn is red and painful skin that is intact. So a great example of this is a sunburn. Or anytime you get a thermal burn and it's just you don't contact it for very long, you can get a first degree burn. Now a second degree burn is a partial thickness that involves the, the lower layers. It's gone all the way through the epidermis and it's affected, uh, started to affect the dermis. So you're either going to see broken skin or blisters. So this area right here is a second degree burn. Then these areas down here that are red and intact would be first degree areas of burn. A third degree burns extend all the way through the dermis. You know, you've got your epidermis and then you've got your dermis and then you've got your subcutaneous tissue. Remember in your dermis, this is where your nerves are. This is where your blood vessels are. And so if I burn all the way through those layers, I'm actually gonna burn through the nerves. So a lot of times these third degree burn areas are actually painless, which is weird because they're actually pretty severe. Um, you may see white or black eschar. It's like leathery and thick. So this area here, this whitish light pink area, that's your third degree burn. So what we're seeing is essentially dead tissue. And then fourth degree, there actually is a fourth degree. This is when muscle or bone is involved and it's really common in electrical burns like you see here. Like I said, electrical burns can be very, very devastating. So we want um, to be aware that this is the extent that they can cause damage deeper than just the skin. Here's a burn stages challenge. Based on what you've learned in this video, which degree burn is this? Leave your best guess in the comments below. If you need more help breaking down complex topics like this one, make sure to head over to nursing.com slash NFN, click the link in the description below, or scan the QR code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers 77 must-know nursing topics. Make sure that you learn this that we love you guys. Now go out, be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.